Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Um, I am Budgeting B and I am here for another weekly check-in for I think this is the end of week four. Um, and yeah, so please excuse this nail, it broke and I need to fix it so I'm aware it'll probably be very distracting. Um, so yeah, I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had a good week. Um, I have got a new purse. You might notice uh, the last time I done my last cash check-in last week, I had a blue Safiano from Filofax. Um, and it was it was a bit messy from getting stuff spilled on it and stuff. So I treated myself to this new one, which is very nice. Um, I also upgraded, made myself some new wallets as they were all falling apart. So they're just the same categories as before. Um, I have put in a back to credit card because I sometimes use my credit card and have to try and keep track of what's going to the bank and what's going to credit card. So that should make it a bit easier. And then I've just got a spare one here, which has not got any purpose really at the minute, but it it might be for miscellaneous because I am finding that I maybe need some miscellaneous. So let's um let's go through and see what we have left for this week. So spending has nothing left. Um, <clears throat> I went out for a meal with my friend last Saturday night and um spent my spending money then. Um, food, I took forty pounds out last week for my food shopping. Um, I actually went to ASDA this time. I only occasionally go to like a bigger supermarket like Asda's or Tesco. I tend to go to Aldi or Lidl and I went to Asda this time. I actually had £10 something in my rewards app for Asda. So what I done was I used that £10 towards my shopping which actually resulted in me saving £10 which I'm very happy with. So we'll cash stuff that soon. Um, so food, nothing in fuel, home essentials still has its five pounds, is it five pounds? Yeah, five pounds, which I will, I'll just roll that over. Um, to be stuffed actually has some money, which I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with it yet. And I do have some side hustle money to take out of the bank to put with this, um, and no sorry not to put with this i have side hustle money to come out of the bank which i need to stuff this as um money that somebody was due to me so it's it's come back to me in cash so i need to stuff that um back to bank has nothing back to credit card has nothing and that is that so let's see what we have change wise I've just been putting all my change into this because I made myself the wallets without the zips. The change kind of falls out of them. So I put all my change into the pocket. Um, the pocket? What's it called? The zip part. So let me just get that out. New purses are so tight. There we go. So we've got all that. So we have got one, two, three and and oh, not very much 5 10 15 20 25 pence which i think is the lowest i've actually ever oh, had left <laughs> at the end of the week and um, i actually found the penny somewhere as well so 26 pence um as last week actually when i marked off my penny savings challenge i actually realised when I watched it back that it was £3.28 and not £2.28. So um, I actually corrected that and coloured in a £1 off camera. So this, I'll put it back in the little jar to go back later. 26 pence and let's colour in my penny. I kind of wish it was a bit more, but it is what it is. It's January. So 26 we will colour you in. Yes, I coloured in that pound last week um, after I realised my mistake, which when I realised my mistake, I was actually quite happy because I was like, oh, more money going in. Well, more money coming off of here. So that was very exciting. 
so that's that so put that back just now honestly my wallets i find them so hard to stay up not there we go that's okay let's just leave them like that so we've got 23 pound to play with um and as i'm the most indecisive person ever i am not sure where it's going so first of all let me just pile them up first of all let's restuff the purse so food money we have got 40 pounds left and i get paid on wednesday so i actually don't know if i'm needing to buy a lot but that 40 pounds we'll put in the purse and um, one two three and four is empty so i'm glad of this roll over money what have we got we've got 20 40 60 70 now all that's left so we've got my shopping money so all that's left for this week is spending money um and i usually give myself 20 pounds spending money a week uh and last week the whole 20 pounds just went on eating out um one time so i didn't have anything to spend during the week so i don't actually i don't really want to go and give myself too much but i am going to a party um I'm driving to a party tomorrow night i'm not drinking so it's not going to be expensive but i will be i'm going with my mum um, and we will be eating out so i think i think this week i'll give myself oh i feel bad giving myself 30 but like it is extra money so oh what do i do what do i do i don't want to be short for the week and I suppose if there's any left over, we can stuff it elsewhere. Yeah. So I'm going to give myself 30 and this extra rollover money, I'm quite confident that I'm not going to need. So I'm going to put that there and we could, we could stuff that. So that is my monthly one, all empty until I get paid again. So spending, we'll put in the 30. And it'll be interesting to see if I actually spend all that because I normally only have 20 and that would just have to do me regardless. Actually, no, no, I'm telling a lie. I normally have money in my fun envelope, which if I was going on a night out, I would take from. So, yeah, it's not. Yeah, listen to me rambling on £30 for this week. And then food, we will put in 20 and 40 into food, which I still have quite a lot of food in the freezer. I might just need to top up. I'm not entirely sure yet. So there we go. And I'm just going to leave that to be stuffed in there just now because I'm sure everybody could agree that like when you've got some spare money sitting around, it could be a little overwhelming what to do with it. I'm just going to get a drink. So, yeah, I don't want to put it in the wrong place, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to leave it just now. So that is my purse. Um, I actually made a note of a couple of things that I wanted to update you guys on. Um, I don't know, you, you may or may not follow me on Instagram, but I'm on Instagram, the budgeting B, um, sorry, not the budgeting B, budgeting B, um, and I've done some little updates on there. So, um, you might remember I had in my previous video, not that one. Oh, it's the pink one. My five k debt challenge, which is this one. Now, I completed this, so I'm going to color these in just for satisfaction. I completed this £5,000 savings challenge, which was £5,000 £5, um, £5, <laughs> £5, towards paying off a loan that I wanted to just get, get gone. Loan one, if you follow me on Instagram. So that £5,000 has been saved and paid to loan one. So we could take these out. So I made a payment um i made a payment a 
few months back, I made a payment of 3,700 when I had it. And then a big chunk of interest come off after that. So then I made the second payment just earlier in the week of the remaining 1,300. And I'm still to check. I think I checked yesterday and the interest rebate hadn't sorted itself out yet. So maybe next week I can update you on the interest that comes off what I've saved. Um, so yeah, that's that finished, which I'm so, so, so excited about. It doesn't mean the loan's paid off. I do still have some to pay on the loan. Um, I may only have a couple of thousand left to go on it. So once the interest rebate comes off of it, I'm going to reevaluate how much we we have left to pay on that one, and then come up with like a new a new savings plan. So let's we could oh god, you don't do that. Oh my goodness, sorry. Um, I'm going to leave the debt wallet in there because I I do want to be overpaying on other debt. So I'm going to take this one out just now. But how exciting that it's all it's all filled in it's all it, i done that it's just that is crazy to me if i wasn't doing this cash stuff in i genuinely would not have been able to do that and that loan would have just ran until the end of its period and i would have just paid the the payment on it but honestly cash stuff in changes your life so yeah and this is so cute as well from the queen bee mates i love the was it terrazzo was it terrazzo that's that sort of bit it's called yeah so super happy with that one so let's put that one just in the back just now um i may use it again when i'm coming to pay off my next loan but we shall see um and what else was i wanting to say oh i'm redoing my monthly budget so i read on my monthly budget for the beginning of this year to just to kind of reflect on my the, the budget was reflecting against my goals savings goals for this year and some of my bills are actually changing like my mortgage is going up by 60 pounds i've just took out a different broadband which is maybe 10 pounds a month cheaper so there's that um for the next um for February, anyway, I don't have to pay my gym membership because my mum put me down when she as a referrer when she joined, and I got twenty five twenty five pounds. Um, I got a free month, so basically twenty five pound doesn't need to be paid. I'm positive that my council tax is over ten months, so this month and next month I should have um that spare to play with. Um, what else? Yeah, so basically my budget will be changing and I'm quite excited to see what I can do with that money. So let's get into this mini stuffing with what we have. Can we see that? Yep, we can. So we have got 20, 40, 50, 53 pounds. Now, we know by now that I'm indecisive and I don't know what to do. Um, I do have my iPad to hand today, which has my my focuses. Mm, so I'm just going to have a look. I might actually, one of my focuses, now it's not a time restraint one, but one of my focuses is clothing because I've been losing weight and um, I'm kind of running out of clothes that fit. So I'm going to see what I have in clothing. So like, I really, I need a few new bits so i've got 20 pounds um and that that gets like a small stuffing every month and um, home bits i am needing the cushions but clothing what else is on it um christmas which is basically just there to remind me. Um, gifts and my gift binder is basically again there to remind me. Birthday binder, MOT. Oh, my car. I had my MOT on Monday just passed um, and my car passed. So I was so happy with that. And it was um, bang and budget. I think I might actually still have some money left in car. Let me just double check. Health, car. No, I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I definitely don't. But anyway, there's nothing in there, but I didn't go over budget and that was to pay for the MOT. I got two new tires, got them put on and I got... I changed the light bulb myself and what was the other thing? Oh, the tire fitting. So... I was so happy with that because that didn't I didn't have to touch my emergency fund or anything. So car will be getting built back up, which is in my um, monthly budget anyway. Um so hmm, what will we do? So my main focus is that are um time dependent, should we say? My friends hen do, which is at the end of March, and I've got £190 to go. Um, the Sudoku challenge and my holiday both need extra love. I've got £141 still to save for my Sudoku challenge and then my holiday I have £295 still to save to, to pay towards it as well. And if you're new here, my Sudoku challenge, which is in my challenge finder, is going towards my holiday so i wasn't just saving purely for the holiday so it saves 405 pounds and it's going towards my holiday so we've got 141 pounds still to go um oh i'm so indecisive do i just smash this money into my main focuses or do I not? Do I have a bit of fun with it? I don't, I'm not one of these like big challenging people. At the minute, I do have, I do have this £25 to go and scratch and save, but I'm actually okay holding off on that at the moment. Do I have any smaller? I'm going to change these two tens for a 20. It might not feel like I'm putting too much in places. I'm going to see if I have £5 notes anywhere because I feel like that might help. Which, to be honest, I don't think I do. There's just one in there. And there's just one in there. No. Well, that's interesting. Annuals, I don't think there's anything in there. No. Long term, what about you? Um, nope. <laughs> I don't tend to work with five pounds. I think there's one in here, but that's not helpful. No. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, right. I think this is a sign. This is a sign not to split it all. For my cash... My side hustle cash stuff and I will actually make sure to get some fives and we can have a little fun with it. So we've got £53. So what I'm going to do, I have 190 still to put. My friends Hendu, I've got Sudoku. What do we do? Do we split it? Do we do... So we do 30 in one and 23 in the other. Yeah. No. Ah, I don't know. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... Oh, that just come out. Oh dear. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I've probably bent it or something. So... Friend Hendo, that's just my little break then. So I've got 175 in Monzo, uh, 95 to 10. So I am going to put 20 and 30 into the Hendo. Oh, sorry, I keep, I hope, I hope you could see this okay. So we've got 175 in Monzo, 195, um, Let's just do this. <laughs> Let's make it easy for yourself. 220, 30, 240. So I'm just going to mark that off on my iPad because I put, what did I put in there? 30. So 160. 160 to go. This is so exciting. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So let's get this back in here. I 
feel like with my side hustle money, we can have a bit more fun. So th this was my little rough, I oh, hope you can see that, my little rough breakdown. So I was thinking um, when I worked it out after, I think I'd maybe already paid £75 for the hotel. So then I needed another £75, which has been paid. I estimated about £100 for trains which I paid £42 today and then I think I'm maybe £20 more pounds for the first part of the train journey. So I'll be under budget for trains. Um, we still don't know what the plans are activity-wise, but I'm hoping that I could get my outfits from Vinted. Um, I, I do quite like to buy secondhand on Vinted. Um, I don't know what we're doing activities, so I don't know if we need to pay for anything. So I budgeted £100 for activities. Um, again, might be well under budget i don't i don't really know if there's anything we need to pay for um i'm sure if there was like we would have known by now i might ask just so i know um and then 150 for spending so we're there the friday night saturday night and we come home sort of like um later morning on the sunday so i I'm not really a big drinker nowadays, so I, I don't even know if I'll need all that. But I just wanted to really cover all bases. Um, and I, I might not even need all that money. So I think I'm going to find out from the organiser what like what cost I'll maybe be involved with the activities. And then we could take it from there. Um, so I don't, we're not doing anything else in there at the moment. What I will do is put Sudoku. So we're doing £23. Like, let me get this calculator. I feel like this is going to be a nice little chunk off of here, which is really exciting. I think this is maybe the most I've put in. So we've got, can you see that? Yeah, we've got 23. So we're going to take off that seven. And then, oh my God, we're in the last the last three sets of squares now let's take off the six which leaves us ten and then we'll do let's do the seven and the three. Oh, that's so exciting there we go so we've done the the six was it the six or am i just making that up oh, was it the seven or oh, i don't know it was one of these <laughs> And then we've done them. So £23 is going into Sudoku. I'm so excited that I've got this amount to put in. So let's sort this. So there we go. And then we'll put the £3 in my little pouch, which is building up again nicely. I like to change this out sometimes for the notes. There we go. So that's coming along nicely. And then in cash, we've got 200 in Monzo, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270, and then whatever's in the in the change. So let me mark that off on my iPad. So we done. Oh, let me get my calculator. So there was 141 still to go. And we've put in 23. 118 pounds left. Perfect. Oh, I love it. That's so exciting. So, let's get you back in here. There we go. So, that's that. Coming along so nicely. And I don't think I had any more updates for you guys this week. Um, no, but I have that £50 in my purse to cash stuff. Um, I have side hustle money, which I need to organize and take out the bank to cash stuff so and then i get paid next week so my video yeah i'll be putting a video up next week with my monthly cash stuff in and then on next friday my usual weekly and yeah i really get that side hustle money sorted i've just it's, it's mainly like vintage money um top cash back and some nails money so it's just kind of like coming in in bits and i'm just building it up but i'll get that out the bank we'll do an extra cash stuff in and all will be good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my 
fourth video I think this will be. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope everybody's well and please feel free to leave me some comments. I love speaking to you guys. I, I love getting comments and likes and um, share, shares, um, share my page, subscribe. Yeah, just, just anything. It's really nice um, to be supported and connecting with this lovely community. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye!